Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about how to calibrate a miter saw. I got this really great miter saw off Facebook Marketplace, but with most saws, they need alignment when you get them. I want to show you how to make sure everything's squared up. So hey guys, real quick, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So hey, I try to post videos every week. Hit that little bell icon so you never miss any of my videos. All right guys, let's get to it. Okay guys, so this is my miter saw. It's a Collins 10 inch miter saw. And it's not quite squared up. It's not quite in line. The only thing I've done is took the insert out and set it aside. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so that's the blade guard. We're gonna take that back. We're gonna set it out of the way. I'm gonna wedge this little ink pin right here. That way it just don't fall forward. Now let me explain about, about miter saws and being square and what we need to check. First thing we need to check is make sure the blade is straight up and down. That means it's not tilted this way or this way. It needs to be straight in relation to the tabletop. Then we'll also need to make sure it's at a straight 45 in relation to this tabletop. We also need to make sure the fence is square in two different directions. It needs to be sitting straight up and down at a 90. You know, not tilted forward, not tilting back, but straight up and down in relation to the tabletop. The fence also needs to be sitting square to the blade. That means not tilted this way, not tilted that way, but perfectly square to the blade. Also, we'll need to make sure our little gauges read 0 and 45 when it's set there. And likewise, this little gauge down here. Now, let me tell you how to adjust these. Do you see this bolt right here? That bolt raises up or down. That bolt is what stops it when it's supposed to be straight. That's how you adjust the tilt. It's the same for the 45. See this bolt? This bolt is what stops it at a 45. To adjust the 45, you raise this bolt up or down. Okay, so let's check out our square. What you wanna do is when you do this, you have to have it against the blade itself, not the teeth. The teeth stick out a little bit farther than the blade. I'd say that's about as good as it gets. Can you see that? It's touching at the top and the bottom. So the, the blade's good that way. Now we'll check our 45. To check our 45, we're gonna use our speed square. What we're looking for is for this to lay flush with the blade. Again, remember not to touch the teeth. They stick out farther, it'll throw your reading off. Okay, that's not square. I don't know if you can see this, but it's touching at the top and it's not touching at the bottom. So that means the blade has to go back up a little bit. So what we gotta do is we've gotta unloosen this lock nut and raise this bolt up just a little bit. Now we'll raise this up. We'll try it again. That was way too far. See that big gap at the top? Gotta go back down. Going down. Now, now it's too far th that way. Now it's got to go back up. Do you see that big gap at the bottom? Okay, up just a hair more. That's perfect. Now we'll just tighten it back up. Now let's make sure it's still in square. 
needs to go down a little bit. Just a little more. There, can you see that? It's a perfect fit, or nearly perfect. Okay, so it's squared up 45 and it's squared up 90. Okay, now we have to make sure the fence is parallel to the saw blade. That means it's this is the fence like this. It's not tilted this way or that way. I clamped the blade guard open with this clamp so it wouldn't get in the way. We need to bring the saw blade down right there. Now to do this, we're gonna take our combination square, put it all the way against the fence. And we're gonna slide it over to it touches the blade. Remember, it's important not to let it touch the teeth. The teeth won't give you an accurate reading. Okay, it's quite a bit of play. I don't know if you can see that, but it's touching back here and it's not touching up at the front. That means this side of the fence needs to come in this way or this side of the fence needs to go out that way. Let's get that started. Okay, to adjust the fence, the fence has two bolts in it, a bolt here and a bolt on the other side here. Now what we need to do is loosen these bolts. That way we can make the fence adjust like this to its square. Now what we'll do is we'll loosen one side all the way and just loosen the other one up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna loosen this bolt first. Okay, now we're gonna loosen this bolt. All right, guys, what we got here is I got this bolt loosened up and I have this bolt a little bit loosened up. The fence will pivot like this. Okay, so what I did is I made this side of the fence go back and forth like this until I got it just right there. Can you see that? That's pretty good. All right, now we'll bolt that back down. All right, guys, so now we got the blade at 90 degrees set. We got the blade at 45 degrees set. We have the fence set in relation to the blade. Now what we gotta do is check the fence to make sure it's at a 90 to the table. But a lot of miter saws don't have a way to adjust that anyway. My miter saw, there's no way to adjust it. But let's check it anyway. You just take your square, put it up against your fence and your table like this, and you see how square it is. That's pretty good. Let's try the other side. And that's pretty good. Now all we gotta do is make sure our dials are on zero here and here. All right, that one's right on zero. This one is in a really hard location to get to. The screw head sticks straight up into the bottom of this motor mount here. All right, well that's not going anywhere. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test it out. You can see right here, I got a little arrow. I'm gonna try it, arrow up against the fence to make sure the bevel's in the right angle, and then I'll try it against the fence like that to make sure the miter's in the right angle. Let's get started. That's pretty darn good. About a 32nd or 64th off, but I'd say that's within an acceptable margin of error. All right, guys, that's about it. Thanks for joining me. Hey, if I did something wrong, or if I did something a different way than you would have done it, let me know. Any suggestions or comments are always welcome. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell. Always get notified whenever I release a new video. Hey guys, be careful and stay safe.